man, it is insane in California. <laughs> They're going for reparations in San Francisco. We've got some info here from NBC. Payments of $5 million to every eligible black adult, the elimination of personal debt and tax burdens, guaranteed annual incomes of at least $97,000 for 250 years and homes in San Francisco for just $1. These were some of the more than 100 recommendations made by a city appointed reparations committee tasked with the thorny question of how to atone for centuries of slavery and systemic racism. And the San Francisco Board of Supervisors hearing the report for the first time Tuesday voiced enthusiastic support for the ideas listed with some saying money should not stop the city from doing the right thing. You gotta <laughs> love that. The draft reparations plan released in December is unmatched nationwide in its specificity and breadth. The committee hasn't done an analysis of the cost of the proposals, but critics have slammed the plan as financially and politically impossible. An estimate from Stanford University's Hoover Institution, which leans conservative, has said it would cost each non-black family in the city at least $600,000. Peter, I know you live in another country, thousands of miles away from San Francisco, but how much will you personally put in? But you're, you'll chip in a little something so that uh, a young black man in San Francisco can get ahead in the world, I assume. Yeah, no, no, I won't. I'll stiff him, I'm afraid. You know, I'll, I'll just point to the Barbary slave trade and say, well, hey, you know, millions of, of white Europeans were, were captured and used as slaves all across North Africa between the 16th and 18th century. So let's just call it quits with the whole reparations thing. I mean, it's, it's laughable. I, your representatives in California must be cooking and, and smoking meth because it's absolutely crazy over there. I mean, I, I, I was looking at it before and I was thinking, if this actually goes ahead, and given that it's California, it, it might do, the state is gonna be on an, ex, on an express train to becoming America's first failed state. And I don't say that lightly. There's already a $22 billion deficit. You know, Newsom's are off, off the charts. Um, people are leaving in droves. The taxes are sky high. If you're gonna start forcing non-black families to pay out $600,000 or whatever the Hoover Institute suggested, it's gonna absolutely bankrupt the state. And then that will in turn affect the rest of Western civilization. It's absurd. Slavery was terrible. We all, we all acknowledge that, we all appreciate it was wrong. It ended, white people ended slavery. And you know, like I said before, it was part of the Barbary slave trade. White people were also victims of slavery. So if, if you're gonna have reparations, where do you draw the line? Why do we stop at black people? Let's go back to the very beginning of the supply chain because it wasn't white people gathering up black people and putting them in cages. It was African kings and it was the African elite. They were selling their own people. So if you really wanna get reparations, let's go right back to the source and get it from them. Isn't it also just an, a misunderstanding of human nature? Like the idea that you can give people something because of something that didn't happen to them, it maybe happened to their ancestors, maybe. And also because they don't believe in IDs in California, how are we gonna prove any of this? But the idea that you could hand them a certain amount of money and then psychologically they'd be like, okay, we're good to go, thanks. <laughs> Won't need anything else, really appreciate it. If you'd like more sane takes on our insane world, check out our direct message clips playlist. And if you wanna watch more full episodes of our live roundtables, watch our roundtables playlist. They're both right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.